Soul Buyer Social and excited to welcome you to another Kundalini class today from Rainy Hilton Head. Um, but everything we're working, are continuing our work on the heart chakra today. Actually, I have a pretty interesting class. It's pretty um, challenging. We're going to actually do two Krios. The first one's called Heart and Soul. The second one's called Heart Connection. So the first half of the class is going to be quite challenging physically. Um, and then we go into, once we've kind of got all of our energy moving, everything built up, we come into a little bit more of uh, mental work, really connecting with our own heartbeats. It's really quite a beautiful practice. Let's go ahead and just kind of arrive at our space. Let's put our hands in the mudra, thumb and index finger connected. Three other fingers together, arms are straight, palms are pointed up. It's our receptive posture. As we close the eyes, tuning into our own bodies, making sure that you're really sitting like a yogi. Sit bones connected down to the earth as if you have a golden cord connecting from the base, from the root of the spine, down to the center of Mother Earth. So allow yourself to be grounded in that way. Second cord starts at the base but comes up as if we're pulling it up through that kundalini in the second and third vertebrae. Allow the front of the hips to push forward as we open up our heart space. Shoulders roll back. <clears throat> Gentle tilt in the chin and that's your Jamadara Bandha. It's engaged so that we are open along the back of the cervical spine. The set eye focus remains on the third eye, the yoga of awareness. So we try and keep all of that beautiful energy in our bodies, opening our eyes only when necessary throughout the course of the practice. So now that we're sitting properly, connected down, aware of our kind of skeletal structure, let's go ahead and start to bring our attention to our pranic energy, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. And being really conscious of that flow of energy in and out. Directing it to flow through the heart of the front, the, the front of the heart center and the back of the heart center. Remember, you've got to get that prana into all spaces of stale energy on the release, letting go, any stress, any strain, releasing it out with the breath, bringing in more light, more energy on each inhale. And so it gets more and more expansive with each breath, filling up the belly, the diaphragm, Make sure the face is relaxed and the tongue is in the soft palate. Let's take two more deep inhales all the way in. Cleansing, exhales, you can even sigh if you like. When you're done, go ahead and bring your palms out in front of you, rubbing you vigorously, creating more, creating heat. And beautiful. Bring that heat into prayer pose, thumbs connected at the sternum point, fingers pointing up and out from the universal heart to your own. We tune in with the Adi Mantra, followed by the Mangala Charm. Just go ahead and Follow in, creating your own beautiful vibration at your heart space. Let's take a deep inhale to begin. Um.
protective light as we release our breath and just open our hands for a moment you all tuned into each other's energy just at the beginning having a look but let's just acknowledge everyone's energy the ability to connect through the ethers and take a deep inhale here holding the breath at the top and when we release it we're just going to send out love and light to everyone in this group creating a beautiful circle and receiving in the left hand. So let's release, sending love and light out to everyone in the group this morning and receiving their love and light as well. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale in. And release, beautiful heart connection on a Wednesday morning. All right, so let's bring our hands back down into Kiyo Mudra. The Kriya, heart and soul, starts off with a beautiful pranayama. We're going to be inhaling in three segments, holding at the top, exhaling in three segments. Um, so what you want to focus on, it makes the time go by really quickly, you want to get those three segments completely equal and by the time you get to the top you want to be at a full inhale by the time you get at the bottom you want to be at a full exhale so let's just go ahead and try that inhaling in three one two three hold it at the top for a moment exhale one two three it's all out the nose you just need to work on it in that space we're here for six minutes it's a longer pranayama than we normally do but as said, full times for the exercises. So go ahead, get your spine straight, hands in Gya Mudra. I focus on the third eye. Engage your jaw and Dharabhanda. I'll get us some music and begin. Three segments in, three segments out.
is green, connected to the element of air, it is the balance point between the earthly lower triangle and the upper ethers. It's the place where me becomes we, compassion, love, and continuing in our theme, working with our mantra for the heart chakra, I love myself unconditionally. Let's take a deep inhale with that mantra in mind. Take our tongues to the root of the mouth and then mentally repeat that mantra to yourself until you need to release the breath and release the tongue. Just implanting that beautiful mantra for our heart work. I love myself unconditionally. first posture legs come out and they don't have to be super wide just open not like all the way out arms come up 60 degrees so we're going to be doing a lot of kapalabhati breath in this so your breath of fire so just remember it exhaling out if you have a little bug that's the only thing that you focus on the navel is being pumped as we do that so remember if you're on the first couple days of your period or you're pregnant you can stick with long deep breathing but otherwise we're getting in there so the arms are up 60 degrees i bring a leg up 60 degrees it is very awkward and weird and we are here for three minutes so you're gonna have to take a break remember mental challenge as well as physical challenge we take a break we find we can we uh, visualize we're continuing to do it and then we come back to our power let's go ahead find our strength if you need to sit on a bolster that might give you a little bit of added boost i think i'm going to do that with my knee so my arms are up i'm lifting my leg closing my eyes the third eye breath of fire let's start our three minutes now
Ten more seconds. Inhale, perfect your posture as best you can. Even if you have to bend the knee, I know I do. Squeeze Mulavanda, anus, sex organs. Hold super tight up and in as we hold the breath. Perfect the posture best you can, then release. I think this deserves a big kind of punch in those muscles. Woo, that's a tough one. All right. And remember, maximum time. So he here, working with the physical body and the neutral mind, so we don't give ourselves a hard time when that's a challenge. I don't think that's ever going to be. Alright, so, you know we have to do it on the right hand side, so, let's find our power here, maybe take a moment, just sitting up straight, eyes closed, just tuning in, tapping into that navel energy, that will of the spiritual warrior we worked on last week before we get started. What do we know from the left knee? We know we can bend our knee a little bit, we know we can take a break visualizing we're continuing and then we come back so let's tap into that power bring our arms up and let's raise the right leg breath of fire let's begin Breath of fire. Should we be on your elbows? 
here, and it says to make fists. So we're on our elbows, on the sheepskin, making fists. So they're kind of up here. My feet are there. I'm opening up my heart space with a breath of fire. Now, if it becomes too much to be raised up with your buttocks, you're just going to want to make sure that you're really open here in your heart space, that your head is back if it can be. you got those fists. But again, three minutes, we're shifting into um, breath of fire and that platform. So let's go ahead and at least just get started. Or 
You can actually keep the bolster in your lower back for the next exercise, which is body. We might utilize that if you have one. Let's just take a moment. Give yourself a minute here to relax and release. It's a lot of opening up in that throat space. Give yourself these moments of integration when they're specific here. I want you to really pay attention to what, what's happening. Follow your breath, follow your energy. Hmm. More challenging postures, more things get shifting, more things get moving, particularly with this breath of fire. Enjoy the break. Enjoy watching as the body calms down again. Feeling the chest rise, opening at the heart space, front and back of the heart space. Remember, you're not just projecting energy out. Energy gets projected out the back of your heart space too, so that needs to be open. Okay, let's take a deep inhale in all together through the nose. Take an extra sip through rounded lips to fill it up completely. Hold that for a moment and then just a great big sigh. Ah, let it go, release. And then go ahead and bring your legs up 90 degrees. Now, it invites us, <laughs> and we can tell you it invites us, to hold on to our toes. Now that can also mean your ankles or your calves, but you're invited to reach up and hold on to your toes. So obviously your back's going to be a little bit raised. This is where I thought if you're really struggling to reach your toes, you could also put your bolster behind you. Get a little bit that extra lift. So I do want you to have this squeeze in um in the kind of navel chakra and solar plexus so as we're reaching up towards the toes in this posture my head is coming towards the knees this is where i'm going to be for the next two minutes with a breath of fire so let's go ahead find your posture and yes breath of fire let's all begin there Thank 
squeeze Mulavanda, holding the breath. I focus third eye. Make sure your face is soft as we squeeze, ignite, using our breath, our energy in the locks to light that Kundalini. Keep squeezing, keep holding. And when we really slow, slow, let go of the toes, let the head drop, let the legs and the arms slowly, very controlled, begin to drop down. Opening up the legs at the bottom, just really enjoying that sensation of release through the hips, opening up through that sacrum and give yourself just a nice 30 seconds here to just allow the energy to flow down to the toes, up now into the chest. Breathing in and out of the heart space. Like 
of you have your arms above your head. Make sure they're out in front of you. down together. Inhale up. Arms stay out. Release the breath. And inhale. Hold the breath. Squeeze the mula bandha here. Everything super tight up and in. Navel to the spine. Have the eye focus on the third eye. Bring that energy up through the heart. Squeezing, holding, then release the arms. Palms come facing forward. You might want to do a little roll, inhaling up and down with the shoulders. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. And just stand with that energy for a moment. Feeling the connection of the feet to the ground. Make sure all parts of your feet release down, especially after doing that work on the toes. You want to allow those muscles to just release. And just standing straight here. Let's then take that deep inhale in all the way to the belly through the nose. Filling up, we take an extra sip through rounded lips. Hold that at the top. Make sure you're expanded through the front of the chest, the back of the chest, 
releasing with a great big sigh. Ah. Let all of that air out so that we can bring in fresh light prana. Inhale again. Beautiful, open, 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 expansive. One more sip. Big release. Ah, I want you to come straight down into cat cows. And so arms beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. And it's just a traditional cat cow. Just make sure you are leaning with your pelvis. Always very important to let the pelvis be the driver of the movement. Do a couple slow just to get your posture. But then it does say we'd like you to do these relatively fast. So you're shifting energy, you're moving. Yeah, let's do that. Connecting with our third eye, 
and just concentrating on breathing into the back of the heart space. Each breath more expansive. So as if you had angel wings on the back and every breath you took was so full and so complete that those angel wings just unfurl. Take a moment here, one minute to just breathe like this. that big inhale here, hold it at the top, squeeze Molavanda, and then release, and I'm going to invite you to bring your knees together here, we're going to interlace our hands in the back. This is our posture. If this does not work on your knees, you can go into an easy pose or you can open up the knees. But ideally, this is the posture that we're in. Our hands are interlaced in a Venus lock. If you can bring your arms up, maybe you can get your shoulders a little bit of a stretch here, allowing them to pull up a little bit more. The forehead is connected to the ground. And we're going to be chanting. Uh, Okay, so we're going to be chanting Aung So Hum as we rise up, as we exhale, Aung So Hum as we come up. All right, I just realized I'm going to do that from an easy pose. My knee's not going to let me do that on my, um, on my knees, but you find your way. I'm also losing my turban. I'm a little bit of a mess this morning. All right, so hands in and waist behind. Let's begin. Um, make that vibration really strong by taking your tongue to the roof of your mouth so it vibrates the entire na nasal cavity. Um, then we come up. So hum. So 
Consciousness, so hung. I am that. How cool. I am that creative consciousness. I am thou. And peace is within me. It's coming into the Mudra. Find your bolster if you need. We're going to be chanting here for a little while before we shift into another movement. So, Dhyan Mudra. I'm going to be doing long sat nams. Truth is my name. So, finding a perfect posture. Making sure you have that tilt in the neck. Go ahead and begin long sat nam so that we are not only vibrating with love, we are vibrating with truth. Let's begin. Sa
Fingertips come over. That's an exhale. Then an inhale back up. 
exhale, fingers come back, and then they come back to the posture. So let's see. <laughs> so I gotta think about it. <laughs> exhale. Yeah. Okay. So wait. <laughs> Starting position. So we inhale in the first and third. Okay, so. Beautiful. Keep going. Find your way. I'll get us some music. You're going to be here for a little while balancing that head and the heart.
posture that I'm going to have you lie down for a little solfeggio and bowl heart sound healing. So come standing up for me. Just two more minutes here. Last part. Okay. Same posture, but standing. All right. So we're going to be doing a squat down as we open the arms. Inhale that beautiful. Again, the hands don't touch, they swap. Perfect. Find your drishti. Beautiful. Now, if you can come down into a full Velocina squat all the way down, I'm going to let you do that. That's not in the cards for me today. So you make that decision. Happy with a nice squat with a flat or with a straight back. joys of that neutral mind we work to our own abilities on any given day no matter what gets thrown at us give it our best you're almost there clear that energetic field out to the side and above you are in the nucleus of your auric field. Notice how healthy and vibrant with each move, expanding that vitality. Especially from this heart center, I want you to feel it coming out the sides of the ribs, out the front, from the chest, out your back. Fingertips at the top, release the breath. Just catch the breath for a moment as we hold this posture. And then take that deep inhale in. Squeeze Mula Bandha, hold the breath, navel to the spine, palms reaching up, 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 up. Energy flowing from the root, the sacrum, the navel, the heart, through your throat, igniting the third eye round or it feels sweet as you release broadest brighter so healthy at your core mind is so calm radiating from your heart center palms come facing forward one more deep inhale extra sip at the top of the rounded lips Big sigh, ah, let it go and come lying down. Let me play you a little heart music. All right, Shavasana, the joys. You did a great job. Okay. So as you lie back, uh, let's see.
circles with wrists and with ankles, first in one direction, then in the other, and maybe bring the arms up over the head for a big, big stretch, allowing yourself to release with a great big sigh, ah. and bring your knees up into your chest, give yourself a big hug. And rock from side to side. Do what you need to do. Some circles left, circles right. And slowly rocking yourself back up into your seated posture. It's been an interesting combination of ha challenging postures, mantra, breath, meditation kind of has everything today. Let's go ahead and come up and bring our hands immediately into prayer pose, getting centered in our heart space. As we close with the long time sunshine song, followed by four times Sat Nam, join as you like, as we send love and light to ourselves, each other, and the collective. Closing with the reiteration that truth is our name.
legs, no peace. Now yoga practice, contribute to the well-being of all. We exhale through the chakras, peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. I bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky, blessing you and your prayers, thanking you for your beautiful energy today. And we all walk around from our heart space as we rise up and greet one another with the Sat Nam. Sat Nam, everyone. Sat Nam. Lovely. All right. And our sun came out. I don't know if anybody noticed. It got so super light in here. <laughs> right? Beautiful. Sat Nam. Let's